James Gamble Rogers. In days of yore, in the distant 1910s, before the discovery of critical drugs like penicillin, Yale had no residential college system declaring independence from slavish imitation of Cambridge and Oxford and old school British tradition. It was an adorable but misguided attempt at having a unique vision. But then you came along with your Gothic revival flair, Georgian angles and fluted towers that spiraled into the air. You showed Yale the air of its ways and created collegiate Gothic structures for days. Foolish critics called your work an orgy of meretricious medievalism, but they failed to understand the true genius of your vision. Just look at Bramford and Saybrook's design, the inspiration for which could only be divine. Berkeley may be sinking into the ground, but so what? <laughs> the ceiling of its dining hall has the most fabulous struts. And who could forget the sublime beauty of Sterling, perfected with a healthy baptism of acid washing? <laughs> Some critics say that you took historicist fantasy to the extreme, but those silly writers never understood your dream. After all, the Western canon has always been the ideal, so you designed your buildings with a phallic kind of zeal. <laughs> How else do you explain Harkness Tower, an unmatched symbol of white male power? <laughs> and though you are dead and gone, your legacy lives on in broken windows, burst water pipes, and wheelchair accessible sidewalks, <laughs> and incorrect times on at least two of Harkness's four clocks. Do not fear, for you have a worthy successor, Robert Ann Stern, who took your style and made it better. <laughs> From the Waldorf and Park Ave to Central Park West, she reminded the world that wealth is the best. And one day, sitting atop a glass and steel tower, Charles Johnson, Bob Stern, let's consolidate power. So from the ashes of mud came an empty faux steeple, a lazy attempt to placate old people. And the losses rejoiced for a college named Franklin, although its Pomo-Byzantine facade bullshit was frankly stankin'. <laughs> but perhaps the most egregious of its architectural errors is its mirror dance studio's support columns and their reflective terrors. 